In today's Clash Royale video, we are testing out a new Wage spell in Clash Royale and taking a look at how good it really is in this Elite Barbarian Wage Bridge Bam deck. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, also give a fat thumbs up on the video and also let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the Wage and did you guys see the bug yesterday with like the balloon and then fair was absolutely crazy. I'm glad I fixed it and also if you guys enjoy my content, make sure to use Creator Good Martin in the shop. So the great thing about the Wage is that like some advantage and some disadvantage. I think like in Lumber Loon especially, I think with the Lumberjack in, uh, especially, I think it's a kind of nerf, right? Since like the radius got way, way uh, smaller. And I feel like in a big Lumber Loon push, in a big Golden push, the, the radius of the Wage is really important to get like a Baby Ring going and so on. So I think this is like kind of a huge nerf. But in this type of deck, like the e um, which they, like, what are the best counts against e -bops? Scallion Army. Scallion Army completely dies from the Wage. Same as for the, um, okay. Same thing goes to like uh, Spear Goblins and also go and uh, are for the bats. So these are kind of three spam cards which are gonna die from that. Also skeletons on their own also. So it kills. It's kind of like a zap in the air. Uh, yeah. yeah it, I mean zap is also in the air. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna go for that here. Can we get a connection on tower? We do get a connection on tower. So I think like in this type of deck, it's way, way better. For example, we're going for the lead barbarians. We're gonna rage down, <laughs> kill the uh, kill the skeleton army, and then we also have a rage there. So I think in this type of deck, it fits really, really well. To be fair, but yeah, I think generally speaking, it, it has some advantages and some disadvantages. But I think this deck, which I'm like playing right now, it fits in really, really well. So the example opponent is gonna drop like spear gums. We for sure wanna rage and also try to hit something else. So in bridge next, I think it's really, really works well. It also might work well in lava. The only real for sure the biggest disadvantage is it's not like in reset. So the good thing is right now in Fan Tower and in Fan Ring both aren't really matter. But if you feel like you're facing a lot for sure, then that would be better. But also this deck. I mean this deck, it's really good against Inferno Tower, right? So this is another really great reason why you use Rage in this deck. It fits really, really well with the Barbarian, uh, with the Elite Barbarians and also why you don't really need a reset, right? Why would you reset anything? So I'm just gonna go in for this here. I could go in for a Rage here. Doesn't really make too much sense. Also, the good thing is, um, okay. That he's kind of over -community. I don't think he has enough for um, Bomb Tower. He does have enough for Bomb Tower, okay. So, I guess I'm just gonna go for the Arch Queen in the back. Arch Queen's coming down. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, Magic Archer. Bandit. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go for the e-bubs here. Uh, no, I need to go in for my ability. I'm just gonna go in for this. I'm just like trying, trying to apply pressure. So let's see what he does next. If he's going for spear bombs, I for sure want to wage it. Now I'm just gonna go for the wage. Perfect example of the wage. We kill the spear bombs. At the same time, we're waging at the e -bubs, And that was absolutely amazing. Picture perfect gameplay. And this is exactly what I meant. In this situation, the wage was way, 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 way better. And also, the good thing is, wage does tower damage also. So we're kinda gonna look. 58. And I'm just gonna finish off my opponent with the wage spell. Okay, next game here, I would say. Okay, I'm just gonna go on. I'm just gonna go on for ice. Uh, for heal spirit here. He goes in for Princess, so I'm just gonna go same time, uh, same same side. I guess he would play Mighty Mine in front of that. This is at least what I assume. Yeah, he does that, so I'm just gonna go in for Magic Arch, and hopefully my math skills are broken. They seem like to be horrible, okay? I should go like, man, what is this? Uh, angel skills? Okay, also for sure, as I said, it's like a zap, so... Of course, the... It's okay, I would say, because you also rage the tower. I feel like it's really solid against Grey Red, right? Because you kind of kill like a ton of stuff with the rage, but also at the same time, um, what is great about it is that your tower gets rage. And a rage up tower against uh, Grey Red skeletons can be really helpful. So I don't get the hit out. We got a really awkward start, um, but I think it's okay. So I'm just gonna go for my bandit here. And I just hope that the Mighty Miner is not doing Mighty Miner things, but it seems like the Mighty Miner does Mighty Miner things. So I'm just gonna go for the Bandit here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna need to use the ability. I think we get the ability in a perfect... Uh, okay... Yeah... I mean, I don't really know. I'm just gonna go for a Battle Ram. I don't know if he has enough Elixir now. Already for his cannon. Okay, it seems like he does. Okay, hmm... Oh, he's really, really, like, the start was absolutely not good for us, okay. In this kind of matchups, I think we see the disadvantage. So, I think if I would have had, like, a Barbarian Ball in this matchup, it would be way more helpful, as um, as I feel like. So, I'm just gonna go for the Magic Arch here, trying to kill that. Because, yeah, there's, like, nothing really, like, really helpful in there, so... 
Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Royal Ghost here. I'm just gonna go for the Bandit here. Bandit is hopefully, yeah, able to make sure we're not losing our tower. Okay, the, the situation is still not good, but I'm just trying my best to come back this one. If not, it would be bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go Battle Ram in the back. I'm just gonna go Magic Archer now in the back. I'm just gonna go ban it at the bridge here. Let's go. Okay. I mean, this situation, like the, or like in this matchup, I have to say, the rage doesn't really do anything. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to go in for a rage like this and just trying this time to just rage out my troops instead of trying to get value on something. And we also do get the tower. So, this was kind of the situation, like with the old rage, right? I just played the rage in this sequence. Room here. I just played the rage in this sequence to. I'm just gonna go rage here. Also, rage the tower up, which is great. But I think we're still losing this one, right? Um, yeah, I just played rage in the sequence to get the. Uh, to, to rage up the, the troops instead of getting value somewhere else. I'm just gonna go for ebabs here. I guess he can just go for the rocket. So it's over. He played absolutely well, but I think in one situation you kind of saw like the double digit thing. Sometimes you're able to, to, to kill troops um, with like the Skelly army, like the Spear Gorms. On the other side, you can still uh, rage up your troops and try to get value, but for sure on defense against Lockbait, you're struggling with that. Next game here against Sebastian. Let's kind of get back from the last game. I still think I could have played it way better. I think I could have also like easily won this game. So I think we're going to try to focus even more now. And now we're like seeing a Lumberjack player. Okay, I don't know if he plays Lumberloo or something okay cheap cycle mm, okay. okay i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go relax and use my magic arch in the back okay he's using ah, that was a great fireball because now my magic archer goes into the queen i guess i need to go elves in front Go heal spirit here, please heal spirit, do your job. Okay, <laughs> honestly, you're horrible heal spirit. But he goes in four records at least, okay. Mm. Just gonna go better and kite this. I need to go Archer Queen now. Good Archer Queen though. Now I'm just gonna need to use the ability, which is okay. He still gets a ton of damage from that, but. I don't know how I could have like avoided that. Okay, this is kind of like the, the thing which you're gonna see right now with the rage popping off, which I think is way worse. I think I'm just gonna use the ability here. I'm also gonna go like pre rage. Maybe it helps. Maybe we do hit something. I think there's like a chance to pre rage things, but I still think it worked out pretty nicely here. Like the rage there, if you would have played like skulls and so on, it would have been absolutely amazing, but it's still okay. It's still okay. I don't know if he's gonna use the ability. I don't really think so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna go here, spirit here to make sure we don't take any damage. Let's go. And I think I wanna play that really, really slowly. So I'm just gonna go for my ghost in the back. Let's see what he does. Okay, he goes in for his um record. So I'm just gonna go magic archer left since he has a fireball. Using my um archer queen to the right. Goes on fireball, okay. I'm just gonna go e -wops. Goes and drops the balloon, which is okay for me, I guess. Mm. The question is if I'm, if I'm still able to defend this loon. I guess I am. Yeah, okay, I am. Let's go. I'm just gonna go e here because I think like he wants to go on for balloon there. Okay, I need to go ban it now. Hmm. I'm just gonna use my ability instant and just try to. Please defend this! No! Okay! I don't know, like the question is maybe the matchup is just bad. I also felt like. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with the rage sometimes. Maybe I'm just like always need to go for the rage, but I'm always trying to get some value. I'm always trying to get some of the skeletons or bats. So, um. I don't want to see not true. Like, let me know. Like, because a ton of people say like the rage sucks. 
And I feel like I need to agree here. Next game here against Red Snipe. Okay, let's just pray he didn't snipe us. Of course, like in Sparky decks, I think it also will be really, really strong. But I just felt like Sparky isn't really too good. And okay, I'm just gonna go for a bedroom here at the bridge because I mean, it's over here, Spirit is surviving. He uses Goblin, so I think this time it's once again Lock Bait. So we still have to prove something against Bait. I'm using my Magic Archer. Okay, what is he gonna do? He's gonna use his Valk. I'm just gonna go Ghost Opposite since he uses the Goblins and he uses Valk, so I don't really think he's too much against that. Using my banner like this, he goes in for a Lock, so it seems like his Psyche is already awkward. I'm using my Heal Spirit like this. He goes in for a Tornado. Hmm. Be also something else to be sure, to, to be fair. Ah, it could be also Hawk Exinado. Yeah, it's mostly gonna be Hawk Exinado. Okay, also a really defensive deck. Also a deck where I feel like it doesn't really get any value because Goblins are just so good. I feel like Goblins, because Goblins are mad at the deck, or like the, the card rage isn't as good. So I'm just gonna go for my Ghost in the bridge. I'm using my ability. Honestly, really solid ability. We do get a... No, we do don't get a Ghost hit, but... It's okay. I'm using my e up and my bandit. No, I have my e up select in case he goes in for Hawk Rider. But he does not. Okay. Then we're just gonna use a heal spirit to distract this stuff. He has a great defense against us. We don't have a big spell. I guess I'm just gonna go Magic Archer here. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go back to him. I'm just gonna use the same thing. I'm just gonna rage. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's kind of what I need to do in this type of matchup. Just trying to rage my twos, but maybe it wasn't too smart to rage into this Valk. Okay, I'm gonna go bandit here. Yeah, I don't know. If, if, I don't know, man. Like it's it's hard. It's hard. Hmm. I don't really want to use my ability here, so I need to go Ghost now. And now I'm just gonna go Evap's opposite. And I'm just praying right now. I'm just trying my best to get absolutely some damage. I'm just gonna go for my Rage here. He's gonna use the Tornado. We kind of predict that the Rage is really helpful here. Okay, we do get something on Tower. Let's go. Hmm, okay. We at least up. And I have my Evap's back, so in case he goes on Hawk, we get a whole big counter push. I just need to have six elixir always. Mm. Archer Queen. Bandit. Okay. Oh, we still got a shot. Magic Archer. Hmm. Everywhere, I'm just gonna go Archer Queen High here. Okay, I need to go Ghost. Okay. Hmm. No, so much damage, guys. No! Trying to rage here, but like the rage doesn't it doesn't do anything. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trash, but I feel like against decent players, I think I don't know. Why should you use rage? Yeah, this is it, guys. I mean, I lost. I lost three out of four games. I'm not gonna cut it out because this is just like I try to show my experience with this rage deck. I earlier turned at Packer Bridge and Packer Bridge and worked really well. So I don't know. Um. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that rage. In my opinion, it's pretty, pretty bad. Like, I like if you guys want to try it out, I mean, it can work in some decks, like this Bridger deck. I think maybe I got some just unlucky, but let me know in the comment section. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I love you guys. Goodbye.